What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are covering the elements inside Alluvium Zero as we have finished covering the basic buildings and if you missed one, I have them. I have a full playlist covering each building inside Alluvium Zero that I will be posting in the description below. So the first building we are covering today is the Sediment Excavator. This is the Extractor class. Uh, this building excavates sediments and mechanically separates it into pure carbon. Now, before we go any further, I must mention in order to get this building, you do have to have an element on your land called an outcrop. These are basically piles of rock that have steam coming out of them. So if you have one of these, then they will allow you to construct the sediment excavator. So carbon basically is the element that you will be mining. And if you didn't know the science behind carbon, this is basically the element of life. Carbon consists of six protons, electrons, and neutrons. You find it inside diamonds, coal, and even inside your own bodies since it's combined with other elements. Now, there are three elements total inside of Alluvium Zero, but elements are the in-game currency used for Alluvium Zero, while the other resources coal fuel can be used for things outside of alluvium zero such as gas and items which i will be covering in a future video but carbon will be a big element that is responsible for upgrading other buildings such as the nexus and will be vital in your progression inside the game the sediment excavator has a two by two tile space and a one minute build time however each time you upgrade the excavator this will increase the amount of carbon it produces, but also it will increase the wait time for it to finish. Now, it doesn't cost anything to produce carbon if you already have the excavator and the outcrop on your land plot. The converters do cost resources that I will cover in another video, but having all the elements on your land plot will be very beneficial if you want to avoid paying for elements you don't have. So at the cost of higher levels, you can see I have a level five and I produce 240,000 carbon with a wait time of three hours. And having multiple elements like carbon on your land plot is super beneficial because many upgrades go into the millions when you are reaching their max levels. So now you have more of an idea of how much this building scales when you get to the max level and how vital it is to have outcrops and an excavator on your land if you're going to be a serious player inside Alluvium Zero. So I hope that covers everything for you. Again, if you are new to the game or just looking for a guild to join, I have all the links in the description for you to follow. So subscribe and follow me and I will see you on the next episode.